Hey everyone, it is me, Sacred G. Welcome back to another video, or another Dead by Daylight video. Today, um, I'm gonna talk about probably, in my opinion, one of the most creepy fucking killers in the game that you could go against, as, you know, when you play Survivor, is, uh, Sonico. <laughs> like, I, I honestly think this chick, or Sonico, is one of the creepiest killers in Dead by Daylight. I don't think she's scary or anything. I, I think she's pretty creepy to go against, and she has some potential scare effect when it comes to going against Sadako. Um, I, like, the thing I love about going against Sadako, um, <laughs> is when you can't see her, or when she's demanifested, and it gives off that little chimey noise, a little squeaky, sort of eerie sort of sound that, um, she gives when she's demanifested. I think that's actually quite creepy. Um, I also... I really do like the, what they did with the model, obviously. I mean, you can't go wrong there. It's just some chick in a dress that has long hair. Um, and and just the way she you could play as Sadako can be the most fucking terrifying thing, in my opinion, out of all the killers in the game. Um, because to me, I just think that long hair and and just like how dark it is and especially if you're going against a Sonico with the prestige outfit you know the bloody dress and all that shit she actually gets 10 times more creepy i'm not gonna lie i've had more jump scares with the uh the bloody Sonico more than i have with the actual og you know the og outfit the clean the crisp and the um original uh, outfit that you get her with um, before you prestige her, or if you get the other outfit that you could get from, like, the, I think the Arctic Shop, uh, which actually I think that's one of the least creepiest outfits for her. I know it's based off of the movie and shit, so pretty much, um, like, eh, you know, that to me that's not creepy. But just, like, the idea that there's a present threat and you have no fucking clue where you go, because I've, I've had moments even me when i play as sadako where i demanifest if i'm trying to mind game um in a jungle gym or if i'm trying to mind game in a pallet area where the survivor runs back and forth between the middle the center of the pallet or the, the right hand side of the pallet or the left hand side you know when you're trying to mind game them in between the pallet um you can demanifest and that <clears throat> And I recommend giving that a shot actually find a place where they don't see you like usually in between walls and just to manifest, they have no idea where you're at. They, um, because you kind of phase in and out of rea reality, quote quotes there. Um, you, you phase out of, uh, reality. Ah, you, you phase out of reality. You kind of are just a, a, a just a fizzle, you know, when you're demanifested. And you just have no fucking clue where she's at. And, um, and especially if the game just starts to. Like, one of the things I find the most creepiest about Sadako is that when you're playing Survivor and she, she like, the game just starts and she, I think you start out if you play Sadako in, in the, you know, insidious state where you're manifested. And, um, <clears throat> I just think that's fucking, just fucking, uh, tension rising. I'm not gonna lie. Like, every time I hear that sound of her being demanded, or Demanifested, and I'm trying to work on popping off that gen. I I get so nervous, I end up leaving the gen because I don't want to, you know, go on hook first. I mean, I don't think anybody does. So I leave that gen if I hear the sound because you can only hear it too, which is this is makes her even more creepy when she's actually fucking nearby. So if if she if you hear it, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> don't sit there and wait. Just uh, go find another generator to get the fuck out of that area that whatever map that you're in because honestly that shit is very creepy and i've, I've had more scares with sadako than and myers too but I, i've had more scares with sadako i mean just <laughs> just uh the way she looks and shit because i don't know i think she's pretty creepy and not only that she's fucking hella cool man like playing as her is so dope you know and uh she's just creepy you know, I don't think she's, like, scary. I know I said this earlier, but to kind of <laughs> go a little deeper, I don't think she's, like, fucking scary. I mean, she kind of looks like a mop, to be honest. I mean, if I was um, a god, 
I would literally pick her up by her ankles and dip her into a mop bucket with that long ass hair she has and fucking clean the maps of TBD with her fucking hair, man. Um, but yeah, she's creepy, you know, and especially when she, when she's fast, like if you're going against a killer who's using, um, like some add-ons that make manifesting or your movement speed after you manifest go 10 times faster than if you were to use no add-ons that did that. I think that's actually very creepy, and especially because you have no fucking clue what add-ons or what, what perks they're using, so you pretty much are kind of left on or hung on red with that. And it's just, to me, intimidating as shit. Like, damn, bro. And play, again, playing as her is really cool. You get to teleport between maps and shit, and she has this really great scare factor about her. You could literally set up a game where you don't attack any survivors you just scare the fuck and fucking piss out of them I, i've tried doing that a few times when i first started playing Asadiko, because i just think she's scary or not scary i just think she's creepy you know um i i don't think she's scary or anything i just i don't know man like i remember one time i i don't even remember yeah she's made me she she made me jump like quite a bit you know and and when it comes to like creepy ass killers i mean the bloody fucking prestige sonico bro you know you're gonna fucking get your ass handed to if you're not careful if you're going against one of those sonicos man like i don't know and she also gets a lot of hate too which is just retarded to me because a lot of the reasons people seem to complain is she's underpowered like i remember seeing multiple videos pop up saying that, or surprised that Sonico was, like, the number one choice into getting kills in Dead by Daylight, one of the most, or one of the best killers for that, and people were like, well, she's bad, you know, and especially, you know, probably Scott John, because he just fucking hated her before she even came out and shit, you know, and it's just a bunch of people that are just suck as playing her so bad to the point they don't even fucking get the character and what she's supposed to do. I know this is kind of a rant, um, or a little side rant about Sadako, but I just don't understand the fucking hate, man. So I decided to say that, Sadako, I love you, and uh, I will continue to play as you. I think you're one of the best killers, or licensed killers, DBDs, or DBD has um, on offer right now. I don't think, honestly, the hate's justifiable. Um, and yeah, she's creepy as fuck. You know, she's actually a really good killer and very intimidating to go against, and she will fucking scare you if you're in the moment, so... That's me, Sacred G. That's all I gotta say. I'll see you guys in the next fucking video. Peace the fuck out. And leave your comments down below. What is the scariest killer to you? Maybe I'll do a video and give my opinion on those killers as well, because I plan on doing so. I'll see you guys in the next. Peace the fuck out, and thank you so much for 39 subs yet again. I just cannot believe it. I'll see you guys in the next. Peace out.